my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. guys uh, Adam Nickel here with the Department of Natural Resources uh, today we're out uh, doing some electrofishing on the Wolf River um, we're in the middle of our kind of walleye assessment for tagging fish on the wolf this year um, last year we had you guys out and uh, it's been a little bit of a different year water was quite a bit higher last year the water levels are lower overall this spring so far but uh, the main marshes are still operating pretty well so uh, we'll give you guys a look at what we're seeing so far this year. Uh, we've tagged about 4,000 males and about 750 females. So we're getting close to our 5,000. Uh, kind of that's our goal for a number of fish tags. So uh, we'll see if we can get another couple hundred today and uh, show you what we're seeing so far. Basically how this system works is we start out, uh, you just kind of slowly turn this dial up and we want to get it right around three and a half to four amps usually. Um, and it can be touchy, so you just got to watch it. It's coming up slow, slow. Right about there is what we want. And you can see right when we hit about four amps, that's when we finally got a fish. Um, usually around 130 volts or so, sometimes a little less, but you just want to hit the fish enough that they get stunned enough for the guys to shock them and then when they get back in the tank they're pretty lively already so that's the key thing uh, you don't want to over hit them or anything like that so um, that's basically the system uh, how it works is the boat is kind of the the ground uh, the electricity pumps through the probes and then comes back to the boat and that's about a 20 foot radius that we're shocking basically thanks for the tree branch that's where the fish was. There's a big one. Oh! <laughs> one of the primary you know, reasons we're all doing this work is uh, we're tagging all the fish that we handle. So this is a 26-8 uh, green female. So what this tag is, what we're hoping is that anglers that catch fish um, report them and report the tags to us. So uh, each fish has a, a tag that's got an individual number on it so we can tell which fish it was. Um, it's got the DNR Oshkosh office address on it so you can mail it to that address or you can email it to DNR Winnebago System Tag Returns at Wisconsin.gov. Um, you know, we really encourage any anglers that do catch a tag fish to turn it in. It really helps us track um, how much harvest is going on, exploitation, and um, we do send a certificate to the angler telling them when we tag the fish, how much it's grown, how much it's moved. So there's a little bit of an award at the end for the angler to see what their fish history is. Female, green, 25.5. This one here is a 25.5 inch female. Uh, she's still green, so she's probably staging in the bottom end of the marsh here, getting ready to spawn. Um, this fish is hard to say. I mean, it could be, uh, you know, it's hard to get a range of years on it. We had a strong year class in 2008. Um, she could be a fish from that year class, but 
Um, once they get this big, they can really range quite a bit in age, so um, we'll throw her back for another day. So typically when we're doing our assessments, uh, we'll keep track of what we have for green fish and ripe fish. And once we start seeing, you know, 10 to 25 percent um, of the females getting ripe or spent, um, we'll shut down the, the tagging then. And this year we're really close to our goal of 5,000 fish tags. So um, today could very well be our last day out tagging. Twenty-eight two. Say that's the biggest fish of the day so far. This is a beauty. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Hey, I'll tell you what, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors, and today we're up at O'Connell. Now this isn't a real big walleye, but it's about the 10th cast, and it's a walleye. And uh, today we got some uh, clients with us today, and we'll introduce you to them in a little bit, but yesterday was a fantastic day, and let's see what we got here. You know, that's just a, a typical 18-inch walleye male sitting out there. Hopefully he was sitting right next to a bunch of big females. So. Stay tuned, let's see what happens this morning here up at O'Connell, fishing the Bay of Green Bay. What? You just anchor down here a little bit in the spot. And not a bad fish right there. <laughs> Gotta love that. That is actually a small fish for all three guys. Yeah, but it yeah. felt good. It's a good way to start it <laughs> off though, right? It felt real good. I'll tell you what, I just went back to plastics. I started casting the plastics. She doesn't want to come in. Oh. That's a team. That's what I love about these big fish on, this, on the bay here. Okay. Got her? Oh, yeah. There's a fish right there. <laughs> All right, nice job. How's that looking? You're looking stellar there, my looking friend. Looking stellar? Well, let's let her right, go. Let me see. What, you, you, well, you got to be that way. I want to get the next one. All right. That's one ahead. thing about fishing, you know. It's great to get the first one, but then you want to get the second one, the third one, the fourth well, one. Well, the photographer wants to take in the beauty. Right, well. I'll tell you what, that fish bumped it four times. Yep. And see, that's the thing, you never, when you when you feel that light tick on there, you want to make sure that's a tank. Oh. Yeah, that's a tank. <laughs> you want to make sure that you don't 
stop jigging. Okay, get the That's okay, right there. Oh, that's it. Yep, be careful, don't drop her heart on the floor. You know, that's the thing. These females are all sitting up here staged right now. And uh, like I said, I'm just rolling across that bra bottom, hanging that bottom. Some days they like it when you pop it. But the nice part about that kale and scrub is that you can move that tail as slow as you can possibly move the jig and it's got good action to it. So that's the key to it right there. And you know, that's a nicer fish right there for sure. But like I said, she, she ticked it four times and I never stopped and right before it came to the boat, that's, she finally slurped it in. There you go, great fish. Every minute Larry's out of the water, everybody else has got a better chance. Yeah, that's right. Gotta love that, it's a little better fish. Nice, that's a nice fish. Well, that's a little tanker right there for sure. Ooh, that's got some dirt to it, huh? Hey, you're getting the hang of this stuff for sure, I'll tell you that much. Nice, is that your biggest walleye? Yes, biggest ever right there. Here we go, I'll tell you what, we just moved away from the pack of boats as you can see, and the first pass, boy I tell you, it feels like a really nice fish, thumping like crazy. Boy, it's got a lot of head shake to it. This could be the biggest fish of the day here so far. Hopefully we get to see her. And that fish just absolutely annihilated that bait. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. There, there's a 10 pound fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I love it. You know something, you know what I love? I love when you, when you see something happen, like all these boats came in where we were fishing right there. And it wasn't us that had the hot hand. There was a young man there that he absolutely was I mean, every pass he was getting two or three fish, and I'll tell you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got a 14.8. That is a absolutely monstrous fish. And we went over by him and congratulated him on that. But, you know, there's a solid 10, 11 pound fish right there. You know, probably 29 to 30 inches. Um, just an absolutely beautiful fish. But, you know, I said to everybody, I said, you know what, uh, these fish just cannot take this pressure. Let's just get away from the crowd kind of go do our own thing and you know we made a move and right away boom slammed it that is absolutely awesome you ready to, for me to let her go i am okay i'll let her go then you know, look at the hassle he's having with his drift sock right you see that i threw my bucket out there piece of cake hey sometimes going back to old school is not a bad thing I'll tell you what, you know, we just made another move and we're just kind of moving towards towards the north a little bit. And uh, again, just staying away from the boat. So we're actually right, look at where, where we are. We're right in front of the boat. And this is another nice fish, I'll tell you that. And basically these fish are just laying in here before they make a run up the river to spawn. This is a big fish. Got some, a lot of weight to it. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Look at that fish. Oh, this is definitely, look at the size of that fish. You know something? This is definitely the, oh, oh my gosh. A kid just caught a 14.8. Boy, this thing is just, this fish right here is a tank. It is, look at that rod. Even I get a little nervous still. I'll tell you that, you gotta get this one on the first pass. Look at the size oh. of that fish. Oh. Okay, here you go, I'm gonna bring her right in. Ready? Net her, there you go. Oh. Oh. You guys, you never, ever, ever get sick of catching them fish. And I mean, this is the, this is the unique part about Green Bay. Thank goodness that these fish are protected up here so they can grow to get to that size because you know something? This fish is absolutely, this fish is a tank. Look at the size of that walleye. That is absolutely, a giant, giant walleye. Green Bay, you know, again, I can't stress enough, you guys gotta understand, when you're fishing six to 10 feet of water up here in the Bay of Green Bay, when you get all them boats together, you're gonna push the fish. So you just gotta spread out a little bit. These fish are laying along the whole shorelines from the Pestigo all the way to the O'Connell. And if you wanna catch these fish, 
you got to just get away from everybody. And that's exactly what we did. Look at the size of that fish. Look at that. I'll tell you what, they absolutely tank. Oh, look at this. Look at that fish. If that isn't one of the most beautiful things, look at that. Yeah, she's ready to go. There she goes. We'll do your thing. Hey, guess what? Stay tuned. Let's see what happens next out here on the Bay of Green Bay. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all-new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Foam by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Foam will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Foam does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Foam, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Foam by Vexlar. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Fish, fish! Holy cats, that thing's really got that rod bent over. That's got to be a nice fish. You know, we just kind of moved back over to where we were getting them this morning, just because nobody's here. Wow, oh, that's a tank. Oh, it's a big fish. Get her out that way. There you go. Oh, she's not. Go. Oh, oh, look at that. Did you see that bait? Look at that. It popped right out as soon as we touch that fish. That is absolutely awesome. Boy, hey, when we were moving to the next spot, I saw you laying up there taking a little siesta. I need is a, that a sign of old age? I, well, I typically every day. I'm just uh, You're I'm kind a, of a nap kind of guy you're saying? I'm a nap guy. Nap guy, well, <laughs> it was worth it. <clears throat> that is absolutely beautiful fish. Biggest of my life. That is, well, I want to see you even get one bigger today. Not that there's nothing wrong with that one. No. Oh. But this is just an awesome, boy, we got lucky again. The weather's absolutely beautiful. The rain cleared up, and uh, let's get that fish back. Just the huge. Oh. Well, <laughs> that fish she won. released herself. Wait. Oh, I cast, we just stopped the boat. I cast it one time. Oh, look at the size of this fish, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. it's right here. Come on back here, it's a tank. It's a tank. Get her, get her. Oh, nice fish. Holy cats, you know, one thing about, oh, look, there's the jig. I'll tell you, it's one thing that we've done, and I'm a firm believer, and you can see all the different baits laying across the boat here. Right now, pretty much everybody's got something different on. I just put that purple hair jig on there, and I'll tell you that I got about half a cast in on that, and that just absolutely annihilated. You want to hold her up? Yep, there you go. That is absolutely, that's a, that is a great fish right there. Boy, that thing just absolutely massacred that, that jig. I love that thump. You know, you wait all the time in the anticipation for that, just that sudden thunk 
and just you never get sick of it. You know, I'll tell you what, you guys, hey, we still got a little bit of time left to fish. The sun's just starting to go down. Let's catch some more. Hey, Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen with Junior Shotgun. We are making venison stroganoff today. We have a new product out here, Sterno. This is the coolest thing I found. I just cooked with Larry on the ice for 20 some guys. Take this bottle, shove it in here. There's a little latch that's got to fit into. Pull it down, just like that, close it up, turn it on, bam, you're cooking. This thing puts out 8,000 BTUs. We are going to make venison stroganoff. What I like about it, look at that. They're angled so the pan stays right in there. Stays right in there. We're gonna make this work, right, Junior? Yeah, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. All right, pan feels hot, Junior. Let's throw them in there. We're using some of this Northwoods gourmet seasoning that our buddy Fossey invented. This stuff is awesome. Come on, get them in there. Let's go. It's only gonna be a couple of seconds on each side. And people do not, when you're cooking, that's good, that's good, that's good. Leave all the stuff in there. When you're cooking, when you pull the meat out, leave all your goodness because we're throwing the mushrooms and the onions in it. All your flavor stays right in the pan. You want me to flip them quick? They're starting Not, to turn colors. Yep, go ahead and flip them. You want a tongs? Get your tongs. Yeah, that would work good. Come on, we should be ready here. What did you say? We should be ready. Ooh. Pay attention, Junior. I am paying attention. Keep, just don't touch the pan. Leave the pan as it is. There you go. We're going to pull them out, leave them set on that pan over there to rest while we cook the rest of the ingredients in there. Man, do these look good and smell good. Yep. I like leaving all the parts, the mushrooms, the onions, big like that, so if the people don't like them and they're eating them, they can pull out whatever they don't like. So, now what you take, here's, use, don't scratch the pan. Use okay. this and move everything around. Get those flavors off the bottom of that pan. Just regular. This is something you do when you come home from work, man. You don't want to spend all day cooking. Turn it down. Yep. Grab a can of Jar Heinz Brown Gravy, home style gravy. Wow. That's seasoning. Yeah. Northwood ingredients, damn good That's stuff. That's really good. <laughs> I'm going back for more. <laughs> Easy, pal. From the kitchen of Shotgun Chef, Junior Shotgun, venison stroganoff, dang good. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job, too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there.
I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats there up in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is uh, the simplest tip that you're ever going to see. You know how when you put a lot of rods together, how they always get tangled? I learned this a long time ago from an old timer, and I just, when he showed it to me, I just I couldn't believe I didn't think of it myself. Basically, just take and twist the line about five times, and you literally can put 30 rods together and pull them all out. So that's this week's tip of the week, brought to you by our good friends again over at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. No jerky, it's all gone already. I ate it already. Hey. You're supposed to hand out jerky with the tip of the week. Well, you know what? It's two weeks in a row where I'm getting pretty hungry because I'm not drinking that you know, poison soda anymore. So, you know what? I need something else good to put in my system. And definitely Mike's Country Meats doesn't get any better. I'll tell you what, that hair jig is definitely, thanks for moving. That hair jig has definitely come on. I'll tell you what I did is I actually paused that hair jig for a minute and that fish just absolutely came and throttled that bait. Oh, here it is, right here. Come on back here, it's a big cow. Right here, she's right here. I'm gonna bring her up right here. Get ready for her. Got her right here. Got her. Got her. Got her. Got her. Got her. Woo I'll tell you what, in the last 10 minutes, we have had a smackdown on these fish, for sure. I don't even know why you're filming that. Right. <laughs> what a problem. What a problem to have, huh? But I tell you what, Dan, I, I'm sure you remember, and you know, last year when we were out here, it was a day that I'll never forget in my whole life. We had 17 over 10 pounds that day. We had 43 fish. I mean, there's no way were we gonna duplicate that today, but we have caught a ton of fish and we've got some real nice fish, no doubt. Biggest one is just over 12 so far. And uh, you know, I'm not complaining about these five pounders. Hey, guess what? I've got the perfect way to end a perfect day. You know what? It's called Burger Smokeout. Well, I'll tell you what, what a great way to end a day out on the Bay of Green Bay today by having some great food from Burger Smokehouse. And I'll tell you what, what do you guys think about today? Awesome day. I'd love to repeat it again. <laughs> right. Great day, a lot of big yep. play. You know, it's all about coming out here and enjoying what Wisconsin has to offer, especially fishing the Great Lakes here and some of the best walleye fishing around. And uh, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Beaver Dam Bucket. You know what I'd call this? What? Redneck Ingenuity. Yeah, that's right. Well, it matches my, the hood on my motor. <laughs>